Why have, are we doing private moments? That was no. That's an exercise that we do. Exercise. Why are we emphasizing that work for? Well, to get me to do in a scene what I did, let's say Tuesday. What does that mean? That means to, do what? What to, st- to, do to do not act. Moment? To not act. To not act, exactly. Because you act all the time. You put your body into all kinds of moves, suggestions. That it's like a, it's like a, a catalog of, uh, uh, you know, uh, Playboy or something like that. <laughs> well, if I wanted to. Then in addition to that, if that, that's not enough, then you give me a southern accent. <laughs> I mean, the people on the stage, for instance, like Lee Grant and so on, doing the the uh, uh, Elman play, they are very uneasy about the dialect. They use a little of it, and they don't know how to use it, and so on. They give it up. It's a very difficult thing to do, and at the same time, keep acting unless you do it with great ease. And somehow you approach everything and you're always doing it. What made you think, by the way, that this is a, a monologue? This is not a monologue. It takes place with another person who is very much involved in reaction and to whom you would react. If he did something, it would obviously change the way in which you spoke and what you said. This uh, is not a monologue. This is a scene in which a girl has to share with somebody else for reasons which were not apparent in the scene. Because I, at the beginning of the scene, she says something about, I, I want to make it with you. Which means that there is a strong desire not to tell a story, not to tell a monologue, but to do something. And to do something because the doing of that is for her, has carry some unusual significance. Well, by the time you finish the story, you were finished. You didn't need anything. Whereas as far as I can tell, I don't know the whole thing. I think I've seen another scene from this, but as far as I can tell, obviously she tells this, she tells this in order, unconsciously, because she doesn't realize after all what she's doing, to reveal why she is frustrated in her sex life and how it happened somehow so that now she feels she would, she wants to try to make it, except she has to tell him, even when I make it, I, it's not you, it's just things happen, you know, and since that time I just haven't been able to make it, but this time I really want to make it. But we didn't see anything like that. It was just an amusing story. As you see, we laughed. Some of the people laughed at some of the funny things. But that's not the scene. That's not the situation. And by the way, can you can you twirl me? <laughs> yeah. Huh? Yeah. Not like an expert, but I can do it. Well, how well can you do it? It's like saying, yeah, yeah, I can't act like an actor. <laughs> yeah, I can do it, yeah. I mean, I don't think I could throw it up in the air and catch it the way they no, do. And but you can do it well enough sure. to get the impression that you can do it. Oh, yeah. Because sometimes, you see, in the not too distant future, I hope to take a cane and twirl it the way I would like to twirl it. I don't know that I'll ever use it in any play or so on. But I'd like to be able to twirl those things the way they do. <laughs> 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 guns the way they twirl it, you know, <laughs> that fascinates me, but it will take a lot of time to do that. So, just enough so that if necessary I can give the impression of somebody who can do it. Yeah. Because then even if I don't do it, if I just, so on, it may give enough for me and for the audience the idea that if I did, if I wanted to, I could do it. Well, I thought because of that. now I would feel uneasy in doing that because I don't think I can do it. Well, as far as I think what you're bringing up is that it was important to me that she was a mar- she was in marching bands and twirling and she spent the, you know, she, she's a marcher and I tried to get that into my walk, into what I, you know. Well, I don't know. I know people that have done this and they don't walk like this. They don't. <laughs> well, I, well, I didn't exactly... I just, well, all right. <laughs> Unless there's some need for it, they walk, you know, they show a certain light, listen, so on. But if you didn't know them, you wouldn't know what they want. It would just uh, seem like good looking girls that, uh, you know, so on, but you wouldn't know what they, what they want. But I made a choice that she was affected, that she. Darling, that is the one choice that I've, uh, I would come down on you like a ton of bricks. Because you always tell me that you make choices to be affected, to act, 
when the thing we're trying to get you to do is to act naturally and believably. So what the hell is the point of going constantly off into something where I'm going to have to say, if that's the way you're acting, then it's no good. To act phony is the most difficult thing to do, to act phony and to be believable. Because anybody can act phony. But then we say the actor is phony. But to, to realize that the actor is not phony, but that the character is, that's a very difficult thing to do. And somehow you've gotten all these ideas and all so on, and you're already climbing to the top, and it's everything there. In the meantime, we work on the exercises, and we work on the exercises, and I think, ah, uh -huh, now we're beginning to get something, certainly here at the least. What I would have expected was that the private moment should begin to pay off. I, I didn't, I knew that before I did the scene, and when, once I started the scene, all the awareness I had that I had to get the feeling of the private moment into the scene went away. I didn't know how to... Wait a minute, but isn't that exactly what we're supposed to work for? That's just it. But I knew, I mean... Because if you... the reason we give you the private moment is that it seems to me that we have uh, come to the conclusion. I say we in the sense that I thought you <coughs> shared that. You may not, but I thought that you shared that conclusion with me. That it was not just something that I came to on my own, but you opposed or disagreed with. That you are too much concerned with the public. Yeah, I do. And doing things for the public rather than doing things for the character, for the situation, for the event. See, now, there are some people <coughs> who do not have a certain kind of reality and therefore do things for the public very skillfully, very easily. There are other people like you who want to be real. And somehow, in the effort to be real, they do all phony things, and then that's no good. When people cannot sing any more than popular, and they sing popular, that's great. But when people can sing classical and then somehow feel they got to sing popular, like, uh, who was it, Lawrence Tibbet, I think, that tried to make it? It was a complete flop, if you remember on radio. For my time. <laughs> Okay. But <laughs> the, the, the conclusions before your time are still valid, so to say, for all yeah. time. You see. And, and uh, a lot of things like that, you see. That, and somehow here, I would have assumed that since you did pick this, you would have said, aha, uh -huh, this is a good time for me to test what I've already, to some extent, gotten in the private moment so that I should get away from acting, get away from other things. If I can do it as myself, but I am, I can twirl, since you say you can, so therefore that's not difficult for me to talk about or even to suggest by something that I do. And for the rest, let's see what happens when I'm private and I'm not showing off and I'm not acting and I'm not carrying on and I'm not telling people, now please notice me and see, you know, how striking or whatever it is I am, and, but let me see whether I can do it and play it and be real and so on and then after that if I then accomplish that and then still feel I should characterize I then bring it in the next time and add the characterization whether it's a dialect or other things that we wanted to do we would then know two things you would know and we would know that the basic reality of the scene the situation of the character you can achieve therefore if the characterization helped would be fine if the characterization didn't, we would say you're not re yet ready for that. This way, I don't know what to tell you. Because I don't know whether the lack of conviction and reality in the scene comes from the fact that you try to do too much of the characterizing, or whether it comes from the simple fact that you haven't yet learned really to do the simple, the natural thing, which is the very thing that we've been working for in the private moment, but which we have not yet seen in a real scene. <laughs>